Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to teach you a cool math trick where you can tell whether a number is divisible by 7 just by using this graph. Let me explain the instructions. You start out by placing your finger on the circle that's labeled yes. For the first and leftmost digit of the number, you want to move a number of black arrows equal to the value of that first digit. Before you get to the next digit of the number, you want to move one green arrow, which brings you to another circle. You repeat these steps for each digit in the number, except for the very last digit where you don't want to move a green arrow. The number will be divisible by 7 if you end up back at the circle that says yes. So let's try an example. Let's ask, is the number 126 divisible by 7? We'll start by placing our finger on the circle labeled yes. The first digit of the number is 1, so we move one black arrow to get to the next circle. Before we get to the next digit of the number, we move one green arrow, which brings us to a different circle. Now we look at the next digit in the number, which is 2. We will move two black arrows to get to the next circle. Before we go to the last digit, we go one green arrow to get to another circle. Finally, we consider the last digit of 6, and we move 6 different circles, and then we're going to end up at a final circle. We are back at the circle that says yes, and therefore, this graph tells us that yes, this number 126 is divisible by 7. And you can check on your calculator that 126 is divisible by 7. So let's try another example. Let's consider the number 213. Start by placing your finger at the circle labeled yes. For the first digit 2, we want to move two circles. We move two black arrows and get two circles around the circle. We then move one green arrow before we get to the next digit of 1. For the digit of 1, we move one black arrow. And then we need to move one green arrow. In this case, the one green arrow brings us back to the same spot. We finally consider the last digit of 3, and we move 3 circles, 3 black arrows, and that brings us to this circle. So we found out that no, 213 is not divisible by 7. But actually this graph can not only tell you whether a number is divisible by 7, it can actually tell you the remainder. If we label the circles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, We've actually found out that 213 has a remainder of 3 when dividing by 7. So this is a really cool graph. You can tell whether a number is divisible by 7, and you can actually figure out its remainder just through a series of following black and green arrows. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can also catch me at Presh Talwalker. If you like this video, please check out my books. I've provided links in the video description. Thanks for watching.